Hello, have you had an accident that wasn't your fault? Or have you been missold timeshare? Well, does my beard need trimming? Probably, but these are not the questions I'm going to ask today. Hi, I'm folks. My name's Nigel. I'm in Edinburgh. And apparently, you now have to queue to charge an EV. And this is the latest uh, narrative for the oil industry, the media, uh, car makers and dealers. The shocking news that you now have to queue to charge your EV. Hello friends, my name's Nigel. Hope you can like and subscribe. Welcome to all subscribers. And those of you who aren't subscribing, maybe you can consider it. Look, there's a switch bike and there's another switch bike. They're all over the place. And time to throw my phone up in the air and see if it is protected by the case. Do you have to queue to charge your EV? So many questions, as Terry Wogan used to say, and so few answers and so little time to do everything. Apparently, this is the latest reason not to buy an EV. And of course, every month there is a reason. The current reason not to buy an electric vehicle is that you have to queue to charge them. Well, this is quite shocking news and uh, I thought I'd look into this situation. Hi friends, I'm in Edinburgh. Uh, my name's Nigel, I'm with Jennifer. We like to travel around in our Tesla Model 3, uh, reporting on what it's like to own a Tesla. I'm 70 years old, been driving all my life, for over 50 years. Most of my life has been driving gas cars, petrol and diesel. And for the last two years, I've had an electric car. And I'll be honest, I love it. I could never go back. So here we are in Edinburgh and it's a beautiful city, many things to do. Very cool city, lots of cafes and restaurants and uh, places to shop. Beautiful castle on the hillside, lovely architecture, modern and old, and it's a lovely place and thoroughly recommend you visit. And I think after London, it's probably the most visited place in the UK and I can see why it is wonderful. And it's a little bit more contained than London. It's neat, it's sort of, smaller and easier to manage. London is so big and vast and uh, as much as I like London, love London, I do like Edinburgh also. Wonderful city, you really need to come and uh, visit. Now there are some oil companies that like to put in uh, one EV charger and uh, make uh, a, a lot of uh, fuss about how they're so keen on the environment, although they're they're spending 99% of their investment into new oil fields and 1% on chargers. So they put in one, but they know that as soon as someone starts using it, someone else can't use it. So they only put in one. Tesla years and years ago were putting in eight and 12. And uh, now Tesla put in as many as 30 in Exeter. And that's how it should be, because it's no good putting in one. It, all this is going to do is piss people off about buying an EV and find it's being used and, and that just isn't acceptable. So they're actually making the situation much worse by putting one. Gridserve I consider second to Tesla, although the prices have gone up, we'll put about a dozen in at a time and that's the way to do it. It's really a complete waste of time putting in one. In the time I've had my car, my Tesla, I think I've had to wait a few minutes a couple of times to queue. To, for petrol. That's never happened in my life and certainly never had to queue to pay for that petrol. In fact, only that's probably 100%. It's very rare to just walk in and pay. This is the fact of life. Roads, you have to queue often for many hours actually because we all travel or a lot of people do travel in the same roads at the same times. You queue up in the bank, you queue up in the post office. I'm trying to think where you don't queue. Um, you queue pretty much everywhere, don't you? Certainly queue on the roads. And life is queuing, and the British are very good at queuing. Not to say that my American friends and Australian friends, I'm sure you're also Canadian, are also very good at queuing. Current attitude of media, oil companies, and manufacturers, car manufacturers, legacy, and the dealers, they all, they all hate the electric car. They know the writings on the wall, they, they know the electric car is much superior. They are coming down in price and they're still going to be around for a long time. Uh, gas, diesel, petrol cars, I can charge at home. So yes, 
I'm lucky, not everyone can, but more and more councils are putting in charges in more and more places. And the key for any council is not to get greedy, as some of them are, going from 30p to charge per kilowatt hour up to 80 and 90. People aren't going to pay that then, definitely not. They're not that stupid. I thoroughly recommend the Zap Map app and look at Zap Home where people who are not companies but they have solar panels and they have electricity you park on their drive and you pay them and mostly are very reasonable prices you phone them up and you book a time you want to charge up possibly close to your home or close to your work and um, that can be a very good idea and so there's a lot of people doing that but anyway thanks very much uh, for watching for getting this far a bit of a ramble today hope you can like and subscribe and uh, hit the bell f and notifications and i'll see you next time and don't forget to take your reusable mug wherever you go thanks very much for watching take care see you next time bye bye